And it's not unusual to blush a little bit when you're embarrassed, but what if you got flushed a little bit too often? Let's have a look. Hey doctors, my mom says I wear my emotions in my cheeks. I call myself tomato face. Everything makes my cheeks red. From exercising, to eating spicy food, to drinking a glass of wine, my cheeks are always red. If I exercise in the morning, I have to spend extra time just so my cheeks can cool down. If I don't, they're red the rest of the day. What can I do to remedy these red cheeks? Well, Jessica is also here today. So Jessica, can I get you to come up here? So we can get a closer <laughs> look on. at what you're talking about? Has yeah. this been an ongoing problem for you for a while? It has. Um, I've gone to several dermatologists, estheticians, mm -hmm. spent money on the likes of like personal microdermabrasion machines, been prescribed medications, spent thousands of dollars on makeup covering it up, which has in turn given me some lovely acne. <laughs> and you break out more at times, but the this underlying redness is there pretty much all the time? Yep. You know, I don't think there's any doubt that, that she has rosacea, which is an inflammation of the sebaceous glands, and they're very sensitive to all those triggers that you discussed on your tape there, certain foods, being embarrassed, hot, exercising, yes. makes it more flushed, and that's very, very typical of rosacea. In my experience, pulse dye laser has been an excellent way to treat that. So knowing that you were coming today and after seeing your videotape, guess what we did? We lined up a laser treatment for you right here and back with Dr. Kara Manukian. How does that sound? Awesome. I think we're firing it up for you right now, warming it up. What do you say? Let's go Absolutely. for a treatment. Come on. There she is. Hello. This Hello. is Dr. Kara Manukian. Jessica. Jessica. Please. Let me take a look here. So it looks like you have a classic case of facial blushing and rosacea. Uh, you're exactly right, Dr. Orden. So today we're going to do a vascular laser. You know, rosacea is caused by microcapillaries, blood vessels that are enlarged under the skin. And we're going to use a vascular laser to basically mm -hmm. zap them away. Let's put these on, Dr. Orden. Yes, Can sir. Put those on, please. <laughs> and you'll feel some zaps on the skin. It should only take about 30 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, and uh, we're ready to go. Ready? So these laser beams are basically targeted against the, the little red blood vessels under the skin, and what they'll do is basically zap them away, vaporize them, and, uh, and also reduce the inflammation, which is really important right. because as you know, this is an emotional, it, it has an emotional factor to it too because of the sympathetic uh, nervous system. It's not too bad, is it? Nope. And like, like Dr. Karamanukin said, this laser targets the blood vessels, the redness. Initially, you may appear a little more red, but that's exactly. a good thing. That means that that laser, that heat, has gone to the place where we want it to, the blood vessels. We're basically done. The redder, the better. Is your, your the redder, the right. better. The redder, like the better. That. The more red it is, the more, vas the more vascular and the more effective the laser is. But we're done. How is that? Not painful at all. <laughs> so, and you have some pictures before and afters of other patients you've treated with ro rosacea, right. vascular problems. Let's take a look at those. And that's after just one treatment. That's after one treatment, and that's actually a one-year interval where she's with actually the same done laser. amazingly with the same laser. Wow, that's a, that's a big, big improvement. So what, what do you think for Jessica in this case? I'm, I'm very confident that it's going to work, and it's going to work well and give you long-term satisfaction. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jessica. Thank it was you. a pleasure.